Melody Vassal's top 100 and games of all time. Melody Vassal's top 100 games of all time. Alright, well, I'm glad that you're here to see the top 100 list. Today I'm going to talk to you about what games Melody picked and which ones she should have picked. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, jump a little bit into the psyche of a, of a kid and we're going to talk about the games that she picked. And we're going to explain why she made some mistakes and... This is my top 100. Well, hi, my name is Melody Vassal. I'm Tom Vassal's daughter. I'm 11 years old. I really love games. And today we're going to be talking about numbers 81 through 90. Number 90, warm up. Warm up is basically a race game, a game in which you know, you have these little pieces and you're moving one from the back and just racing them across the board. And the first one to the finish line is the winner. Why do you like warm up? I like warm up because you're putting one body part at a time trying to get to the finish line. And also it's a lot of fun trying to block other people so that they don't get over to the end. I never Which do my that. dad always never, never, does. Never. Don't listen to him. And <laughs> Yeah, um, this game is really fun, especially for younger kids. Number 89, Funny Fishing. Funny Fishing is kind of a uh, dexterity game. You have these, these fish and these rods attached by these strings that are all over the table, and they're all mixed together, and you have to find a certain fish, so you're like looking for the right connection. You grab it, and hopefully... You've caught yourself a fish and not a boot. <laughs> great game? Oh yeah. It's a great game because all the wires are all tangled up. The tip for me is I always find the fish and then follow the line and hope it is the right line. And getting a boot is not good. But someone else getting the boot is pretty funny. <laughs> it's probably not as fun for her since when we play I constantly beat her every time. Very, very sad. Number 88, holy cow! Now that's a weird name. Uh, I guess, I guess it's holy cow because the cows actually have holes in them. They have these really weird looking cows. And you put the cows on top of each other, you have pick two, and you're trying to guess how many holes are going to be there, how many holes will match up so you can see all the way through each cow. I, how is that fun? The cows look cool. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. So the cows look cool. Any other reasons? Um, because it's actually even better if you try to play three and more cows instead of two because that's more, um, harder. I never actually tried that before, but I think it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> that's our variant. We're sticking to it. <laughs> but, um, guessing numbers is kind of hard. But I like the decorating of the cows. Yeah, all right. Cool cows. <laughs> number 87, number chase. Hey, shut the door. We're doing number chase. Oh, sorry. Okay. Number chase is a game about chasing letters. I mean numbers. Actually, it's more of a deduction game in which you have a bunch of numbers on the table and one person asks a question, like they'll say, is the number higher than 30 or is the number an even number? And the uh, one person who knows what the number is will turn all the cards over to show which cards it cannot be. It's very interesting as you narrow it down to that single card. It's a deduction game. Why is it good? Um, I like the game because chasing after the numbers is fun, getting all the clues. It's like being a detective, but for numbers, and I love detective stuff. The door? Number 86, chicken cha cha cha. Hey, are you ever going to come back? What? I 
was getting bored listening to you. We're doing chicken cha-cha-cha now. Shut the door. Chicken cha-cha-cha. A game of memory where you turn over eggs in the middle, trying to find the egg that matches the next space you're moving to. G big, giant wooden pieces. It is a wonderful game for two-year-olds just like Melody. I am not two. Okay. And to tell you the truth, he likes it too. What? 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 It may not be on the top 100, but I know he likes it. All right. Um, I like the game because you're chasing after chickens, trying to pick their feathers out of their butt and putting them on your chicken. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I also like the game because it's kind of memory-ish, and the shapes of the cards or wooden pieces or wooden thingy. <laughs> cardboard pieces that are shaped like an egg, a hexagon, and I just really like the artwork and I really like the chasing after the others and stealing feathers the most. Chicken cha cha cha. Woo. Number 85, dancing eggs. Dancing eggs, woo! Dancing, dancing, dancing. Okay, Ooh. dancing eggs is not about dancing, actually. It's about running around the table as fast as you can or whatever. On your turn, you roll some dice and then you throw an egg up or drop an egg or grab an egg. And first person to grab an egg wins, run around the table, etc. But you have to hold the, once you get an egg, you have to hold it under your chin or in your armpit or, you know, between in, in your the legs. of your thing, between your knees um, while doing it. So it looks kind of dancing and crazy. Why do you like this game? I like this game because of the design, uh, egg carton and eggs. Uh, um, the way how you play it, running around the table, putting eggs between your arms and legs and underneath your chin, and running around is kind of fun, especially for little kids, even though it will be a little hard for them to play, but um, it's a good game that you should play. All right. Number 84, Lost Mumsels. Mumfos, I guess, uh, the, I don't, that's the German name, the, the Korean name is, uh... Donkey Poop. Yeah, that's the translation, Donkey <laughs> Poop, and that's what the game is. You have three large wooden donkeys that you feed little food pieces to, and then you lift their tail on, at certain points of the game, and it all comes out. <laughs> but before you do that, you guess how much color tokens are in each one. So there's some bluffing, or not bluffing, but some guessing involved. <coughs> what do you think? I think this is a fun game because feeding the food to the donkeys and making them poop is kind of fun. And guessing how, how, um, how, what color is in there, um, it's kind of a memory thing and I'm not very good at that at all, I admit. Um, and moving the donkeys around, um, I don't really get that part, but, um. Well, I think they do it so that you can't remember which donkey's which. Maybe. <laughs> and so, um, and also flipping the cards, A to F, it's a good idea. Um, and the color tokens, uh, or pellets, whatever you call them, it, feeding them the donkey is good. Number 83, Ugly Dog. Ugly Dog! No. <laughs> Ow. All right, ugly dolls. It's not a game about ugly dolls. Well, I guess it's about ugly dolls, but they're not really ugly. They're just weird little alien type dolls. And there's a big, there's a bunch of cards. You put them in the middle of the table, and there's three of each kind. Or when you, you turn the cards over, and when you turn over three of the same one, everyone grabs them as fast as they can. If two people grab the same one, they shout ugly doll, ugly doll, ugly doll, and the first person to say it three times gets that card. Whee! So it's memory. Kinda. No, not really memory. Because they're it's all speed. flipped over. Right. Flipped over. Um, and I like this game because of the design, smacking each other's hands when you're trying to get them. And um, I also like this game because of the size of the card that has the eyeball. It's kind of creepy, but cool. And that's why I like this game. Number 82, Ticket to Ride. Really, if you haven't heard about Ticket to Ride right now, then go look, read my review on it. We, we've talked about this game quite a bit. So I'm curious to know why Melody put it on her list. 
I like this game because putting the ch <laughs> the bright color trains out is pretty cool and trying to make a long route is my main goal because that always gives me more points and no one else can get that and <laughs> even though I don't really get it because I never really finished my tickets but um so that's why I have a tip for you try to get tickets that can connect easier not the ones that are all over the place because oh, you just make the route and try to connect it somehow and now we've been just, playing this game lately but not the board game what have we been playing it on on the iPad so there you go you can check it out there also and my dad beats me number 81 Dice Town Dice Town is a game in which players are rolling different poker-sided dice to get different combinations so that they can get gold nuggets, money, land cards. It's very interactive trying to outroll other people, but also fun trying to guess what people roll. And you can change the cards that are played, etc. Why do you like Dice Town? I like Dice Town because... <coughs> I like Dice Town because the cards, you can put them in one big picture and it continues. And the other reason I... Why I like this game because the game is kind of like Yahtzee. So there we go. Melody's. Ten more from Melody's list. Tune in next week. And we will show his. you. What are we up? 71 to 80. Uh, next, next week. You can also check out my list. And you can check out the People's Choice list. Those are going on. Lots of cool games. Especially dice games. Ones you just talked about. We love dice. They're fun to roll on the table. Do you know what else dice are good for? What? Throwing them. Ow! Ow! <laughs> You. Melody Vassal's Top 100 Games of All Time yeah. Melody Vassal's Top 100 Games of All Time Number 81 Better? You broke it. I did? No. <laughs> Don't check me like that.